bird. All right, guys, today we have a nice little adventure for you. Lori and I are gonna head up to Monterey County and uh, we got a tip on a home up there that was damaged last year due to the um, the heavy rains. And so it, it's a hillside home. It's got some uh, structural issues. So Lori and I are gonna cruise up there and check out this property because uh, it seems like we can get a really good deal on it and it's very possible that uh, we might buy it. So stick around for the road trip up there. We're gonna stop at Blackwell's Corner on the way into Paso Robles and check that out. And we'll probably end our day um, in Big Sur and come back down through the one so it ought to be a really fun uh, video that we do today. And on top of that, it's, uh, it's our anniversary. So we're gonna kind of make a work play trip out of it and take the dogs and go check out this place in Monterey. Bell Ridge. Probably one of the largest oil producing areas in the state. This is the uh, famous Blackwell's Corner. Uh, just up the road, up that way is where James Dean, he uh, had the accident in the Porsche. Yeah, it's about 20 miles up that way. But this store right here is kind of a famous store, the Blackwell's Corner store. They have a lot of cool uh, stuff. We're gonna go inside and take a look. There's Marilyn. And they have a lot of James Dean memorabilia here. We always like to stop in here and uh, they have all these treats, you know, the pistachios, lots of pistachios. Looks like they're a little light on inventory. And they've got crushed garlic pistachios. They've got garlic onion pistachios. There's habanero ones. Um, just salt and pepper. All kinds of different flavors of pistachios. That's pretty cool. Definitely gonna grab a couple things. And they've got the all uh, canned goods here. All kinds of different canned um, everything you can think of and they've got it here so this is like some really cool history um, you can see um, the dust bowl when everybody came out Uh, I think that's when my grandparents came out was during the Dust Bowl. But this old, uh, this rig here is a pretty cool old rig. I really like it. Got the rooster in there. 
Coca-Cola box. That's just a really neat old, uh, I think it's a Ford. Yeah, it's a Ford. Oh, I'd love to have that. It's got the burlap bed roll on the side there. And uh, it looks like it might have been an old, maybe a cook wagon. Actually, that's what that is right there. That's a really old stove. So somebody may have used this as a cook wagon one day, long time ago. If you can see this thing's fully authentic, all original. Got the wash tub on the back. And then those are the old back in that in that time they made the dresses for the for the girls out of flower sacks. Because nobody had anything for clothes. Uh, we're just <clears throat> coming through past rubbles here you can see some of the wineries this is the wine country a lot of wineries out here if we get time maybe we'll stop by one this afternoon and take a tour So here we are in San Miguel. And this is the old mission. Right here. Kind of cool, all adobe. There's like a museum here too. Definitely uh, very old. You can see, look at that roof on that building. That's the original roof. Lieutenant Colonel John C. Fremont. Interesting. Come here, Sadie. This is the uh, historic San Miguel guide. Sadie and Butter checking everything out. They had to get out and see what was going on. What do you think, honey? So here is the uh, Camp Roberts military base. And we just hit the Monterey County line. So now we're in Monterey County, up this way.
I think they're processing lettuce right here. Looks like, uh, yep, you can see them. Well, these farms are just unbelievable out here. This is a real agricultural hub. We are, uh, we're about 16 miles away from this house here, so. See what's going on? It's like they're doing a little construction here. Uh, maybe the, the road washed out. So there, looks like this road might have washed out due to the uh, this flood zone here. You can see it, it's quite the flood zone. But yeah, I can definitely see it probably washed out so they're putting it back together it looks like a lot of water came through here at one point not too long ago so we're probably about 20 miles off the coast here uh, up in Monterey County it's a nice uh, 71 degrees breezy out very green and lush country up here um, that's the main reason why we wanted to come look at this house because the comparables for it are um, quite a bit higher than what the guy's asking so we got to just see how much how much work is in this house and I just love this area up here all the farmland lush green very fertile ground lots of grapes lots of lettuce lots of all kinds of vegetables all the way up through this whole corridor is uh, it's all farming from here all the way down to uh, Santa Maria and Ventura area which is about 150 miles south of here so this is just farmland all the way up this whole corridor and it's just really beautiful. And it's not cheap to live over here, that's for sure. So it's a real desirable place to uh, build a home. And uh, some of these farmers, they just have some amazing spreads over here. So here's the driveway coming in. Lots of trees. Everything's kind of hidden away in the forest here. All right, so here is the, the gate. There is actually someone there. I see her up on the deck. So I don't know if we're supposed to just go through or not. All right, so we made it over here to the uh, Monterey property here, or Salinas. And it's it's really rough. You can see foundation is, uh, has been under excavated here by the water. It's separated right there from the framing. And uh, it's got just a whole lot of issues here and i just got done talking with the neighbor he's been here for 20 plus years it's kind of a neat spot but i can tell you right now i don't think that uh there's any chance of saving this thing honestly it looks like it's it's just a full teardown and uh the guy's actually he seems pretty cool um, he's just had a lot of people up here looking at this thing because the way it's priced um, It's priced cheap for the area like these are million dollar homes up here, but uh, This one here is Definitely going to take It's just not worth The rebuild on it So if it was up to me on this property here if I was gonna do something here it would be a full teardown 
and uh, you can just see it's in extreme, extreme disrepair. And there's just, the foundation's just too far gone, especially over in that area over there. It's not gonna be uh, salvageable. You could actually tear this thing down and start fresh um, with fresh bones and a new house because it's been sitting open for years. You can tell at least 10 years. So, um, you know, for us, I don't think it's going to be a buy on it. Um, but, you know, the owner of the property adjacent might be interested in this. So I told him I was going to put him in touch with um, the guy that actually does own it and see, you know, maybe they can make a deal and he can he can acquire this, this uh, two and a half acres here. It's, you know, it'd be super nice. It's a beautiful area. I mean, just beautiful. But this one here is too much for us at least at this time you know this would be like a labor of love type of thing and uh, it's cool but like i said you can see right here it's things are collapsing rotted it's a full it's a full tear down 100 percent well that was a bust uh we ended up meeting the owner of the adjacent property kind of gave us the lowdown on everything and uh after looking at the actual structure itself it's uh i just don't see any potential there it's definitely a really neat little neighborhood here real quiet and uh um you know in the mountains here just south east of monterey beach but um yeah that one i don't think that one's gonna work for us so we're gonna continue on with our road trip and on to the next all right well we made our trip up to monterey and uh checked out that house just out on the outskirts it's actually, they call it Salinas, but it's more in Monterey. And uh, met the owner over there. He was uh, an interesting guy, but um, I don't think we're gonna be able to do anything with that property. I'm gonna let the, uh, let our guys know that um, their best bet's probably gonna be to work with, with that owner there, so. He sounded like he had some interest in buying that thing and with the condition that it's in it would probably be best that it goes to him just because it's kind of like at the end of a road and um, you know just really it would like be right in his front yard you know essentially and you could tell and talking to him he's used to really not having any neighbors there so um, I think it's going to be in their best interest just to work with him and try to get uh, something done with him. But hope you enjoyed the trip. Sadie and Bud are, well, Sadie's doing her business over there, but uh, we let them out here at Toro Park here just for a minute. And uh, it's really nice and breezy today, about 70 degrees. And... We're going to head back down to Paso Robles and maybe check out a winery or two and uh, take Lori over there and, and do a tour possibly, but we'll see how that goes.